everybody. So I'm back today with another video. This time I'm going to be doing a Goodwill flip. I went to Goodwill looking for vases to upcycle and I found two amazing vases right back here. I'm going to be using this trend that's been circulating all over, which is using baking soda and paint. So we're going to turn these old, ugly vases into some new stylish ceramic vases and yeah, just keep watching and see how it turns out. I think it's gonna be really good. If you like what you see, make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll be notified every time that I make a new video. I mean, <laughs> what are you here for? <laughs> so I guess these aren't really vases. They're like bottles with the pickled vegetables in it. Um, anyway, but they will be vases. <laughs> So I really didn't know what to expect with opening these bottles. I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of nervous about what it was gonna smell like. Um, I don't know. But let me tell you, when I did finally open it, it was, um, it smelled just as bad as I thought it was gonna smell. It was <laughs> like vinegary and you know, pickled vegetable -y. You know, I opened it and as you can see, I closed it. <laughs> So because of the smell, I decided to open these outside. Um, this first bottle was pretty easy to get everything out of. Um, I just used some skewers and I shook it out really good and it worked out. This bottle was a nightmare. What I wound up having to do was boiling hot water and pouring it in there, basically cooking the vegetables down so they'd be soft enough to come out and shaking it all out. And I repeated this probably about three or four times. Eventually, hours later, here they are clean and ready to paint. So the first paint that I decided to use was a sample from Home Depot. It was Bare Coconut Twist. And the other paint that I chose was an acrylic paint. Um, it's Beachcomber Beige, um, but they both pretty much ended up turning out just about the same. Um, I would say the acrylic paint was a little more chunky when it dried, but I liked how they both turned out. So for the first layer of paint, um, I used baking soda, but I didn't use a whole lot, probably about two or three teaspoons. Um, because I just wanted it to go on pretty smooth uh, so I wouldn't have too much trouble with coverage. But by the time I went back in to do the second layer, I put a whole lot more baking soda in there because I wanted it to be more of a consistency of mud. Um, just, you know, I figured it would look better that way. Now here is not too much more to explain except paint paint and paint um yeah just vibe out to the music and watch me paint <laughs>
a whole lot more baking soda because I wanted this to be thick. You can see here by adding a lot more of the baking soda, I got a really thick paste and it went on really good. It had some real good coverage at this point. So this was my last time, um, my last layer of paint that I applied. here how much grittier or chunkier um, the paint came out when I used the acrylic paint on this one. Um, I still like it but it is a good note to make that if you use acrylic paint it's going to be more gritty and if you use like an interior paint or like a paint sample from a hardware store it usually tends to be a little bit more smooth but it just depends on whatever you want. I did find with painting this bottle in particular that it was easier to go into the dips and paint those first and then paint the rest of it. It just worked out better. So here's the final look and I really loved it. I thought it made two great additions to my console table and with my knotted candle holder from my last video. Um, if you didn't see that, go check it out. But I absolutely love it. It gave such a vibe. So I loved it. I hope you guys love it and I hope you try it. And let me know if you do.